What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and in doing so I come across rare schematics all the time and since I have them all unlocked already, the best thing I can do is give them away to you guys. The winner of the Golden Plate, Dogbone, Ether Blade, and Flawless Ethereum Crystal schematic from my last video is Cameron, so congratulations. I went ahead and sent you a friend request, go ahead and accept that and hit me up whenever you're free. For those of you who still need the schematics, don't worry, drop a comment on this video including your Activision ID and I'll select one of you guys and announce a winner in my next video so stay tuned. Someone by the name of Bananan30 suggested the mini back an SMG from Modern Warfare 2. For some reason, the MW2 weapons are so much better than the MW3 weapons, man, I just don't get it. If you guys have any suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then drop a comment below. Before we get into the build I'm using today, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank U4GM for sponsoring this video. U4GM is a professional Call of Duty service provider and they're currently offering a 50% discount on COD points and other discounts on Call of Duty codes. They'll help you unlock all the schematics, mastery camos, and now even offer nuke services. Be sure to use my code HIP at checkout for an extra 5% off. So the build we're using for the mini back is as follows. We're using the VLK stockless mod for a huge boost to overall mobility, the true tack rear grip for increased sprint to fire speed and ADS speed. We got the FSS Ole V laser for increased ADS speed and sprint to fire speed as well. We're using the back 9 279 millimeter barrel for increased hip fire accuracy and damage range. And last but not least, we're using overpressured rounds. Now that we went over the build for the mini back i'll make my way over to tier 3 zone and then we'll head over to the tier 5 zone or the elder dark ether so i'll see you all there all right boys so we're here in the tier 3 zone we got the mini back 2 pack 3 as you can see we're fighting off this roaming mega abomination took off a lot of his health just from those few shots so damage output on this thing 10 on 10 look at this reload speed man that's <laughs> That's crazy. All right, let's get a bit of distance here. Yeah, just look at that. Look at how quickly we're ripping through zombies, man. This thing is crazy good. Mobility is a 10 on 10 as well. Of course, it's an SMG, so you're going to expect to be very mobile. Let's get that reload again. We also have a mangler on us. There we go. This guy's going to hit us with a laser attack, which is perfect. It's gonna let us get those furry critical hits in. Just a look at his health bar, man. <laughs> oh my god. This thing is insane. Now this gun makes unlocking schematics super easy. Alright, let's back up a bit. Light up that mangler. Just look at how quickly we killed him. There we go. Get a bit of distance from the Mega. He's probably going to hit us with a laser attack here soon. Which is exactly what we need. So we can finish this guy off. There we go. That's the attack we wanted. There we go. Let's try to hit the critical shots. And there we go. Nice. Quick and easy. A few ammo mods on the ground. Yeah, just look at this, man. So even for hordes of zombies, just, just look at that. You got so much ammo with this thing, too. Oh my god. You can basically shoot forever, and with that reload speed, it's just... This gun's insane. <laughs> Alright, we got two manglers that we can take out as well. Let's back up a bit. There we go. One of the manglers is almost dead. There we go. Killed one of the manglers. Let's take this guy out. There we go. Almost dead. And he's dead as well. Quick and easy. We got this bounty contract right in front of us. So I'll go ahead and pick that up. Hopefully we get a mega or something like that. But yeah. Let's see. There we go. Got the contract. Let's see what target we get. And it's a mega. Let's go. Where is he going to be? Back there. Nice. Alright, I'll see you guys once I'm by the Mega. Ooh, got this Disciple spawning in front of us. Oh my god. Just look at that. Oh man. This is my new favorite SMG. Got that Mimic behind us too. 
Dude, just look at that. All right, we got a roaming mega and we have our bounty target mega. So it's about to get spicy here, boys. Got a disciple as well. Oh uh, yeah, this, this is gonna be rough. We're gonna go down here. No? Okay, yeah, we, we did, we did. Almost made it. <laughs> All right, let's focus up here. Try to get them kind of close together. There we go. Now we need to get a bit of distance. Oh yeah. This is about to be fun. Two mimics as well. There we go. We turned one of them. Let's try to kill this mimic here. And there we go. Mimic is dead. Just need to get some more distance again. Omega is hitting us with a laser attack. That one as well. Alright, there we go. Group of zombies on us too. Yeah, this thing is performing really good. Let's take out that mimic whenever we can. We also have a mangler on us now. Jeez, man. Tier 3 zone definitely got buffed, dude. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm loving it though. Definitely a good amount of action here. There we go. Oh. Alright. Mega killed the Mimic for us. Let's take out that Disciple. There we go. He's just gonna keep spawning zombies. Let's take out some of those zombies. Yeah, dude. Just look at this thing. <laughs> this gun's insane, man. Alright, let's keep firing those shots. There we go. Free critical hits on our target. Nice. Should be some ammo back here, too. We do need to start picking that up. There we go. Alright. That one's hitting us with that laser attack. This one as well. Oh, we might go down. We might. Nope. We made it. Let's go. Let's get that reload. Fighting off two Megas simultaneously is not easy, man. There we go. Let's get a bit of distance. Free critical hits on this guy. There we go. Alright. Try to get behind these statues. Got a Disciple coming in. I'm hitting us with a laser attack. Which is good. So we can hopefully kill this guy. Probably not with this laser attack. There we go. Jeez, man. <laughs> this is a lot of action. Alright. Let's pick up some ammo on the ground. Some right here. Let's go. Get that reload. That quick reload speed comes in clutch as well. Alright, let's back up a bit. Throw that blade. Let's take that disciple out whenever we can. Because that guy is going to be super annoying. And there we go. Got the Disciple. Let's back up a bit here. Laser attack coming in from our target. We might be able to finish him. No. Alright, this guy we can finish. Nice. Got the kill on the normal roaming mega. He dropped Napalm. We'll actually pick that up. Why not? There we go. Oh, no. This ain't good. Wait. We can get him. Let's go. Nice. That was definitely hectic, but this gun performed, man. Definitely performed. Let's pick up the self revives. Um, yeah, we're pretty much geared up to go into the dark ether. Got two self revives, four Casimirs. We're good, man. We're good. All right, I'll see you guys once I'm at the dark ether portal. And there we go. Made it to the portal. Let's use our Elder Sigil. Accept the teleport. And I'll see you all in the tier 5 zone. And there we go, we made it to the tier 5 zone. Let's see, yeah, just like that man, still ripping through the zombies. Damage output on this thing is just crazy, man. I'm loving this gun. It's a lot better than the ISO 45, which we reviewed. It's better than the AMR9 as well. This might just be the best SMG, I can't lie. It's just, I don't know man, that reload speed as well, it's just everything about this gun. It's just so good. Let's keep lighting up that Mega, just look at the Mega's health bar man. 
and like I review a lot of guns but I mean just look at this man let's get back to the mega just look at his health bar it's been a while since I've used a gun that rips through the mega that fast this thing's just insane let's take out this horde of zombies we had behind us it's also gonna be good because that'll drop some ammo for us which you know we'll pick that up there we go got a mimic coming our way as well all right let's throw our blade get a bit of distance again see if we can take out that mimic and there we go got the mimic no swiping very nice mega's gonna hit us with that laser attack uh we're probably not gonna kill him oh we need to back up no way <laughs> all right probably should have paid more attention there all good though got more than enough self revives let's take out this disciple there we go there our blade disciple is dead yeah huh is he no he's not he's still back there all right let's try to kill him from here and there we go we got the disciple very nice let's get a bit of distance here we got a mangler on us too let's focus on the mangler until the mega hits us with a laser attack oh and he's hitting his oh come on oh no we were not prepared for that <laughs> all right back to doing some damage to the mega kind of missed out on that laser attack it's all good let's keep hitting those shots back up a bit and we'll probably kill him any moment now come on just need his face to start glowing for a second oh we might not even need any critical hits just a normal damage is already pretty good with the mini buck let's back up a bit there we go mega is dead he dropped mortar strike three plate best large bag we already have the large bag so we're good we're good all right i'll make my way over to the ether extractor contract man i'm not even using my fist to run around i swear the mobility on this smg is just crazy and yeah this is the best route to get to the contract you just kind of do a bit of parkour pick up the contract jump down to this side Ooh. The Mega is not supposed to be there. He's usually back there, but yeah, that's odd. All right, so when you get to this part here, you can just ascend on this zip, throw down a Casimir. That's gonna take care of all the zombies back here. Should also deal with the special zombies, no? All right, there we go. We should be able to disable it now. And there we go, nice quick and easy once you disable that you just run along here you can kind of jump on this wall run along the wall so you avoid damage from the zombies on the left and the right when you're at this point you can throw your casimir at the wall it's gonna bounce off and land right by the extractor and that's gonna let you just run up here and get this one disabled too having a bit of lag right now servers are being a bit weird today you climb up this ladder then uh equip your extra casimirs get on this wall throw your casimir at the extractor that's gonna bounce off and clear out all the zombies and once again you can just disable the extractor there we go nice and easy contract complete See what we get here. Dogbone recipe, an extra self revive, and normal dogbone. I'll take that. We already have the schematic on us, which I'll give away here soon. So um, I'm not going to fill up my tombstone. But yeah, once you complete this contract, you just jump on this wall here. Parachute over to this side. From here, you can just jump right down to this green bus. And here you have the Outlast contract. Once you accept that, run back here, cross the street, get up this zip, and you just run into this building, take a left, and activate the PND. Here we go. 
And this contract is super easy, man. All you do is stay in this room, keep running in circles. Um, if you have extra Casimirs, don't throw them in the middle of this room because they can bug out. I'd recommend throwing them in a corner like there, kind of by the stairs. That's going to bounce off and land right here. And uh, it definitely always works this way. If you have the field upgrade I have, of course you can use that as well. Just get a bunch of zombies on you and use it, you'll get a bunch of kills. If you don't have Casimirs and you don't have the field upgrade, then uh, just kind of run, jump down, come to the other side, jump down, go to the other side, kind of run around, make like an imaginary 8, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's kind of the strategy if you don't have any more Casimirs and your field upgrades on cooldown. And there we go, contract complete, quick and easy. We've got a couple zombies left alive here. We also have that Disciple and a Mangler further back. So let's take out the Disciple real quick. There we go. Just look at the damage output on this thing, man. That's crazy. There we go. Focus on the Disciple again. Gotta back up a bit. Don't wanna go down. And there we go, got the Disciple. Let's back up, take out the Mangler. Yeah man, just look at that. <laughs> this thing's insane. Let's see what we get in here. Golden plates, we also have the plans, but we already have those. All right, let's take out this Mangler here. Yeah man, just look at that. I love this SMG. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to rate this gun a solid 10 on 10. It's definitely the best SMG that we've tested here on the channel. Had a lot of fun using this thing. Thank you again for the suggestion. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are, and as always, Goodbye.